y caballeros, buenas tardes. Well, we are working uh, still on the journey with Android and I promised you in my previous video, my previous video, that you know we're gonna uh, boot up and try Cyanogen Mod 14 on this device. The tablet, Windows 8.1 tablet. Again, our OTG cable is connected. We have the USB stick and we're gonna boot up. Oops. We're gonna turn it on. This time I created a bootable USB stick with my Mac. I first formatted the drive and I did it with UNET booting and everything went right. You see that? Because it's also booting and now it's booting Android. And now we're gonna boot CM, CM14 if everything goes good. Right. There you go. And we're looking at the boot up of CM14. This is Cyanogen Mod 14 uh, for uh, x86 devices. And I got it to boot on the UEFI device. It was not working first. Um, so probably the drive was not formatted too good. Uh, it filled with power ISO, it filled with UNET boot in, on, in Windows, uh, but it succeeded with UNET boot in on their Mac. So, yeah, we must remember that these are yeah, things to remember. Wow, look at that, look at that. The screen already turned peeps. Look at that. Wow. I will not whistle too loud. We hit next and now now and now and now and now audio fix you guys did not update nothing this is the same as six. Oh my gosh you did not update anything and even the battery now is not showing the way it was showing in six you see that battery is showing like it's empty we're back to where we were with with 4.4.4 sad the touch works fantastic eh? if only these guys had inserted a normal normal drivers for these for these devices eh? if only if only if only if only if I only had time in time times da -da -da. I'm gonna cheat. Do, 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 do. This is a USB stick that you can stick in in two ways without messing it up. There we go. Only one way works and the other won't work. So here you can see we have Wi Fi networks. So, but yeah. It's in fact the same thing. It makes no totally no sense to install this. Because in fact, yeah, the guys did not think of the drivers. They thought of other more important things about the tablet. You see that? Android 7. But it's already fantastic that we can now boot this, you know, thanks to the boot year 32.e5. That was inserted here you can see android 7 is a iconia it did find everything but the hardware you know the hardware so probably we also have no sound let's go to sound Time. 
song. No song. If I only had time. Other songs. No. This thing is not playing sound, not having Wi Fi. So, yeah. What can you do? Not so much. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Sound recorder error. Of course, there's no sound card installed. <laughs> so, yeah, what can I say? The browser. Could not be loaded because you were disconnected. Disconnected from what? Ah, never mind. <laughs> we still have a long way to go, bitch. Yeah. So we learned that even with the update to Android 7, you know, these devices they stay kind of useless on the Android. Not saying that you could not use it, but yeah. I mean, like I have enough laptops already. You know, I would like to sit on the couch with the thing playing with Android. But I think for that purpose, I can better buy myself a Samsung tablet, you know, a Samsung tab, and then we have some hacking and cracking to do again. I, I think just that I'm gonna restore the thing back with Windows 8.1 with Bing, and then I'm just gonna sell it. Because it's no fun to have a device that can only run one OS, that while it has the power and, you know, the hardware to do these other things as well but just because of yeah let me not complain again no drama today in my videos just saying that uh, this tablet is is kind of useless uh, if it comes up to Linux Android because we will always have Wi-Fi and sound not working and when these things don't work you know you must use external devices what will let you use a device that must be connected to some 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 something like this you know you will have to connect this to the thing and the thing will consume even more energy because of that and 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 you won't be able to charge your device while using it so in fact is this a good idea well i made two videos about this tablet already today you know the other one was kind of hopeful this one was kind of disappointing you know not saying that android for x86 is not good android is very good only uh drivers etc uh, are not there at least not for these kinds of devices but i'm sure i'm 100 percent sure that these will come it will just be a matter of time and then they will be there and maybe by next year we will have a fully working uh a windows 8.1 tablet that we you know kind of modded or not modded just you know removed windows and installed linux or android something you know i mean like we're now booting these things with the charm you know how difficult it was we had with rufus do all sorts of crazy things you know special versions but now everything boots if the booty at 32.efi is in the boot folder of efi then you're just fine you know the thing will just boot and yeah only you will have not the drivers that you're looking for and that you kind of you know that get that you kind of need if you have no wi-fi so it make no sense to have a device like this you know if the thing has no wi-fi what should you yeah what should you do with it if the thing has no sound you cannot listen to sound you don't hear no beep no nothing yeah it's a dead device you're holding in your hand eh? and i think uh these guys of acer and microsoft they know that as well and they are probably laughing their ass off that we cannot you know um fix it and and get a good experience out of these devices anymore so yeah my money won't be wasted on these kinds of devices anymore um i showed you the other day that peak is a very nice company still creating uh devices with the legacy bias that you can still do very fantastic things with so thumbs up to peak and all these companies out there you know created creating these devices but in fact all these acer iconias and these kinds of tablets in fact they are just a piece of crap 
sorry that I have to say it. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, love to see you in my next video that will be about protecting your Android system because um, we read in the news that uh, the Play Store has a Google uh, uh, kind of strange I don't know what it is it's malware and it's you know putting comments for you leaving thumbs up for you so that's why I always told you you must create a two-step verification you know otherwise yeah but I think if it's kind of using your yeah only thing I can say is watch my next video and you will be able to test your 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 email to see if your your email is infected if you're also you know um, uh, affected by this malware uh, there are many infections at this moment out there so uh, until my next video see you then uh, by the way if you like this video of course leave it some love subscribe to my channel if you did not already and see you in my next one